Some of the most amazing inventions that shape our world today came from the brilliant minds of black men and women. From traffic lights to refrigerators, we interact daily with inventions created by ingenious black minds. Yet the stories behind these revolutionary creations remain untold. Welcome to Bizarre History. Today we examine 20 things you didn't know were created by black inventors. One day, a chef named George Crum was working at a resort in New York. He prepared some French fries for a customer, but the customer was unhappy. He said the fries were too thick and soggy. Crum was annoyed by this complaint. He decided to make the fries as thin and crispy as he could. He sliced the potatoes very thinly, fried them until they were brown and crunchy, and sprinkled a lot of salt on them. He did not know that he had just invented crisps, a snack loved by millions. Garrett Morgan was a man who cared about the lives of firefighters. He saw how many of them died from breathing in smoke while fighting fires. He decided to create a device that would protect them from the harmful effects of smoke. He named his device the Safety Hood. It was a hood that covered the head and had tubes attached to wet sponges. The sponges filtered out the smoke and supplied fresh oxygen to the wearer. The Safety Hood was the first gas mask ever invented. It was a remarkable invention that saved countless lives. Many people enjoy whiskey, but few know the true origin of this popular drink. The real inventor of whiskey was not Jack Daniel, but his mentor, Nathan Green, also known as Nearest. He was a talented distiller from Lynchburg, Tennessee, who devised the original recipe and perfected the art of making whiskey. He taught Jack everything he knew, and Jack used his knowledge to create his own brand, Jack Daniels. However, the public did not recognize Nearest as the genius behind whiskey, and Jack became the famous one. It took many years for the truth to come out. Nearest died in the 1890s, but his legacy lives on through his family, who created Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey, a world-renowned brand that has won many awards. Charles Richard Drew was an American surgeon and medical researcher who made a significant contribution to the field of blood transfusions. While pursuing his doctorate at Columbia University, he became fascinated by the challenge of preserving blood for longer periods of time. He devised a technique to separate the red blood cells from the plasma and store them independently. This innovation extended the shelf life of blood from one week to several months. He published his results in a paper that paved the way for the establishment of the first blood bank. Garrett Morgan, a black car owner in Cleveland, Ohio, saw a terrible collision between two vehicles at a crossroad. He realized that the existing traffic signal, which only had two lights, was not enough to prevent such accidents. He decided to improve the design by adding a third light that would indicate a yield or caution state. This would alert the drivers to slow down and prepare to stop, making the intersection safer. Feeling unsafe in her own home, Mary Van Britten Brown, an African-American nurse, came up with an ingenious solution, a security unit that allowed her to see and communicate with visitors through a closed-circuit television system. She and her husband filed a patent for their invention in 1966 and received it three years later. Their design inspired many of the features of modern home security systems. In the late 19th century, elevators were not as safe and convenient as they are now. The doors of the elevator shafts had to be manually opened and closed by the passengers or operators, which posed a risk of falling or getting trapped. Alexander Miles, an African-American inventor, came up with a brilliant solution to this problem. He devised a mechanism that would automatically open and close the shaft doors when the elevator car arrived or departed. He patented his invention in 1887, and his designs have influenced the development of elevators ever since. 
Thomas Elkins was a man of many talents and passions. He was not only a skilled dentist, surgeon, and pharmacist, but also a fervent abolitionist who helped many enslaved people escape to freedom. Among his numerous inventions, one of the most remarkable was a ceramic toilet that had a mirror and a washstand attached to it. This innovative device combined hygiene and convenience in a way that was ahead of its time. Elkins patented his ceramic toilet in 1897, adding to his legacy as a multifaceted inventor. Living with multiple sclerosis, Mary Davidson needed a tissue holder to make her daily life easier, but she did not stop there. She also created the first sanitary belt, a forerunner of modern pads for menstruation. In her lifetime, she received five patents for her inventions, more than any other black woman in U.S. history. She was a pioneer in both hygiene and innovation, overcoming the challenges of her condition and society. In the 1930s, transporting perishable goods over long distances was a challenge. Many products would spoil or lose their quality before reaching their destination. That's when Frederick McKinley Jones, a self-taught engineer and inventor, came up with a brilliant solution. He designed a cooling system that could be mounted on the roof of a truck and keep the cargo at a constant low temperature. His invention revolutionized the food industry and enabled the delivery of fresh produce, meat, and dairy products across the country. Jones patented his invention in 1940 and co-founded a company that became the leader in refrigeration technology, Thermoking. Sarah Boone was born as a slave in North Carolina in 1832, but she gained her freedom when she married James Boone, a free black man, in 1847. They moved to Connecticut before the Civil War, where Sarah worked as a dressmaker. She noticed how difficult it was to iron the sleeves and bodies of women's garments on a flat table or board. She came up with an idea to make an ironing board that was narrow, curved, and reversible, so that it could fit the shape of a sleeve and allow ironing both sides without creating unwanted creases. She applied for a patent for her invention in 1891 and received it in 1892, becoming one of the first black women to obtain a patent in the United States. Her ironing board was an improvement over the previous ones and became the precursor of the modern ironing board we use today. Sarah Good was not only a successful entrepreneur, but also a pioneer in the field of innovation. She was born in 1855 in Ohio and moved to Chicago after the Civil War. There she opened a furniture store with her husband Archibald, who was a carpenter and an upholsterer. Many of their customers lived in small apartments and had limited space for furniture. To solve the problem, Good came up with the idea of a folding cabinet bed, which could transform into a roll-top desk with storage compartments. Peanuts are not only delicious, but also nutritious and versatile. They can be used to make hundreds of products, from food to medicine to cosmetics. One of the most popular products is peanut butter, which is enjoyed by humans and animals alike. However, contrary to popular belief, peanut butter was not invented by George Washington Carver, the famous black American scientist and inventor. Richard Spikes was born in 1878 in San Francisco, California, and worked as a barber, a teacher, a musician, and a businessman. He also had a passion for mechanics and innovation, especially for automobiles. He held eight patents for various devices, ranging from a beer tap to a brake safety system. One of his most notable inventions was the automatic gear shift, which he patented in 1932. The automatic gear shift was an improvement on the existing technology of automatic transmissions, which was invented in 1904 by the Sturtevin brothers of Boston. Spike's device aimed to keep the gears for different speeds in constant mesh, using levers to shift gears. This made driving smoother and easier, especially on hilly roads. Spikes installed his gear shift on a Pierce Arrow car in 1913 and later sold his patent to General Motors. Patricia Bath was born in Harlem, New York in 1942 to a family of African and Native American descent. 
She invented the laser Farco probe, a device that uses laser technology to remove cataracts and restore vision. She conceived the idea in 1981 and spent five years developing and testing a prototype. She received a patent for her invention in 1988, making her the first African-American woman doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. Her invention revolutionized cataract surgery and has helped millions of people around the world regain their sight. Mark Dean was a computer scientist and an engineer who worked for IBM for over 30 years. He was part of the team that designed the first IBM PC in the early 1980s, and he also invented the industry standard architecture ISA bus, which allowed different devices to connect to the computer. One of his most important contributions was developing the technology for the color PC monitor, which made the computer display more vivid and clear. He also led the team that created the first gigahertz chip, a microprocessor that could perform a billion calculations per second. In the late 19th century, a man named William H. Richardson had a brilliant idea that would revolutionize the way parents transported their babies. He designed and patented a new type of baby pram that had two major features, independent wheels and a turning bassinet. The independent wheels allowed the pram to move easily on any terrain, while the turning bassinet enabled the parents to adjust the position of the baby without stopping the pram. This way, the parent could always keep an eye on their child and ensure their safety and comfort. Ice cream is one of the most popular desserts in the world, but it was not always easy to serve and enjoy. Before the invention of the ice cream scooper, people had to use spoons to scoop out the frozen delicacy, which often resulted in messy and uneven portions. This changed in 1897 when Alfred L. Crayley, an African-American businessman and inventor, patented his ingenious device, the ice cream scooper. Crayley's invention was a mechanical tool that allowed one to easily release a perfect scoop of ice cream with one hand by using a built-in scraper. Crayley's ice cream scooper was durable, effective, and inexpensive, and it could be made in different shapes and sizes. John Albert Burr was a visionary inventor who revolutionized the design of lawnmowers. He created a lawnmower that had traction wheels and a rotary blade, which made it more efficient and reliable. Unlike other lawnmowers, this device did not get clogged with grass clippings easily. He also made it easier to mow the lawn near walls and buildings by allowing the blade to cut closer to the edges. His invention was a breakthrough in the field of gardening and landscaping. In the late 19th century, a man named George T. Sampson had a brilliant idea. He wanted to make laundry easier and faster by using heat to dry clothes. He applied for a patent in 1892 and received it the same year. His invention was a simple device that consisted of a metal rack and a stove. He placed the wet clothes on the rack and put it over the stove. The hot air from the stove would dry the clothes in no time. If you want more of history's long-held secrets and darkest confessions, hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. From us at Bizarre History, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.